What's up, guys? I'm glad you made it. You just in time. I might have quite possibly stayed at the best resort in the world. Okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe not the best resort in the world, but the best resort I've ever stayed at, and you should too. Before I get into how great I think this place is, hit that like button if you're, you're thinking about going on a much needed vacation. And hit the subscribe button if you found this video in any way, shape, or form helpful to you. So recently, me and my family took a vacation for my 10th wedding anniversary. Yep, that's me and my wife. Oh yeah, I did say me and my family. Yeah, that's us. We settled on a beautiful island in the Dominican Republic. The resort was incredible. From the architecture when you first walk in, the doorman greeted us with drinks. We had mimosas. My kids had orange juice. We had a toast. As soon as we came in, we felt like family instantly. We got there around 2 o'clock. We were taken right into the lobby. They met us at the, at the counter. They checked us in at 2 o'clock, which I think is very important to note. Because I've been at many, many hotels where they'll try to make you wait until the 3 o'clock check-in time. Or sometimes 4 or 5 o'clock. It depends on the hotel. We got there at 2 o'clock. They checked us in right away. Our room was ready. The bag boy took our bags down to the room. We were escorted down to our room and showed to our room right away, which was great. Now, something to note. This is an all-inclusive hotel, which means all our food, all our drinks, everything's already included. We already prepaid for all of this stuff. They had a fantastic app to tell us everything that was going on. It gave us all the restaurants that was on, on premises, the dress codes, the menus, uh, what time these restaurants were open, every activity that was happening on the island. So the app they had there was incredible. Um, I mean, it is 2022, so I, I guess that's to be expected. But it's a very nice touch when you don't have to go around asking people for everything. You can just go into the app, figure out, like I said, you know, what places are open, what places are not open, what activities are going on. Everything in the app. And it made everything seamless and smooth. Um, now let's get down to the room. So once we got the app out the way, it was down to going to see the room. And boy, I wasn't disappointed. Um, let me preface it by saying this. I have a big family, right? So it's me and my wife. I have three children. It's very hard to find rooms big enough to house us all. You know, my kids like to run around. They like to play hide and seek. They like to, you know, uh, just run around and tear stuff up, right? So... A lot of hotels don't have suites big enough for us to stay in and roam around. I mean, you can go to places and get conjoining rooms where you have two rooms and, you know, they got the middle door um, that you can open up and they connect the two rooms. Um, but uh, this place had a suite that was large enough for us, right? We get down to the room. Soon as you open the door, it's it's a, you know, it's a marble foyer. When you, when you walk in, the bathroom's off to the left. The bathroom is beautifully appointed. You know, uh, the tub is, you know, uh, the tub is massive. Um, I'm a six foot four guy, so it's very hard to find tubs that I can fit into. Um, this tub is incredibly big. It's almost like a mini swimming pool. Um, they got the rain head showers. They got the double vanities, big mirrors, lights everywhere. You know, everything's digital. The bathroom was great. You know, you walk further down into the opening, you have, uh, the master suite area where you have a king size bed, you have a pull out couch um, that also serves as a regular couch. You have your coffee table. You're looking directly out to the patio um, and off to the right, you have the kid's bedroom. Um, you walk in there, there's two twin size beds in there. They have their own television, their own uh, patio door to go outside. They have their own closet. It's, it's fantastic. The beds are extremely comfortable. Um, the lighting is right in there. The television is massive. So the television in, in the main uh, bedroom area is about 50 inches, maybe 55 inches. Um, the, the television in the kids' room is about 45 inches. So the TVs are large enough. Like I said, you're looking directly out to the patio area where um, I paid a little extra money to have a private pool there. Only because, I mean, they have many, many pools on premises. But um, I don't like to have to go out to the public area to watch my kids swim all the time. I can peek at them from inside the room if they want to go swim in a private pool. And we want to go to other pools, we can. But the room was beyond expectation. Um, I think that's great to know. And the beds are all memory foam beds. And everything was great. Now that the room was out the way, um, 
let's talk about the restaurant situation. All the places to eat, they're extremely close, right? So they're all within, I don't know, two or 300 yards of the room. So any uh, of the 13 restaurants they have there, you know, the buffets, the, the Italian places, the steak places, the, the, the Japanese place, the, the seafood um, restaurant, um, the, the place on the beach that you can look out right on the beach there. All the restaurants are in walking, walking distance. They're in shouting distance. Whenever you're hungry, you can go right down there. Uh, let's not forget room service. Room service operates from sunup to sundown. There's no time where you can't call and get um, food to your room. Uh, it takes about 45 minutes for room service to be delivered to your room. But I think that's ex extremely convenient. The beach, right? The beach is extremely close. Uh, you talk about two, two or 300 yards about the restaurants. The beach is probably 500 yards away, right? So everything's, like I said, in walking distance. The beach, beaches are immaculate. The beaches are immaculate, right? And, and then there's ample seating out there. Everybody has a, a you know a straw hut where they have you know beach chairs out there. Everything's all set up. The towels are out there. They have a drink service for um for for you while you're sitting on the beach. The beaches aren't crowded. Now I don't know how crowded this place gets. Maybe in June or July, right? So we're there in October. The place had a lot of people there, but everyone was spread out, so it didn't feel like there was a lot of people there. So the beaches were incredible. Um, like I said, not too much crowding. Uh, my kids played very well in the beaches. We walked around. We we even saw a guy out there. You know, he had his monkey out there. Let my kids play with with, with the monkey. Um, everything was was very very good on that beach. I actually had the chance to uh, get up early, uh, catch a sunrise out there. Um, I'm not a beach guy per se. Um, too much sand. Sand gets everywhere. I'm not I'm not a beach guy. I am a pool guy. So let's talk about the pools. This place has pools everywhere, right? They, they got four jacuzzis, probably four or five jacuzzis. They have um, pools all over the place. They have pools with, with, with a dome inside the pool for, for kids to climb up that spray stuff out of it. Um, they have smaller pools for kids where they also have that same dome, but for like, you know, toddlers, they can go to, they have a, a pool directly outside of my room that, that, you know, is, is feet from my room. I mean, obviously we had the private pool, but, but that pool is, is feet away from my, our room. I think the great thing about it is, like I said, they had beach chairs everywhere. They had loungers everywhere. They had cabanas and day beds everywhere. Obviously this is all inclusive. So all of this stuff is free. All this stuff is free to use. Everything was clean, beautiful, new. It was great. I thought the one biggest thing that's important that I didn't know was important until I stayed there was all of the pools were no taller than about three feet, five inches, right? I thought it was very important for kids to play. The pool outside of my room, not the private pool, the private pool was a little deeper, but the pool outside of my room was only like two and a half feet, three feet, right? And I thought that was important because it allows children to go in there and play, right? And if I'm, if I'm an adult, I've been saying this for a long time, I don't need to be in a pool that's 10 feet deep. I'm not going anywhere, especially on vacation. I don't need an olympic size swimming pool that's 10 feet deep. I'm not diving. I'm not jumping around in the water. I'm not, you know, trying to tread water for hours. So I thought that it being three feet deep was great. And they all, they all had a bunch of loungers a floatable loungers in the pool where you could lay down, veg out. So if the kids want to play, less risk of getting drowned out there, right? Um, for adults, I mean, if you want to go for a swim, it's deep enough to go for a swim, but I, I don't need it to be 10 feet. I thought it was great for lounging. I think it's great for sitting around by the pool, having drinks. Uh, and they, they may do that as well because it is an all-inclusive. People are drinking all day, you know, keep the water low so, you know, there's no accidents. But I thought that was a great thing. I, I don't see that in too many places, but I thought it was fantastic. It was a great idea. Like I said, my kids played great. I didn't have to worry about watching them as much. Um, and I, I lounged in the pool all day long. So the pool and the place in the jacuzzis was great. Um, now let's talk about things to do for children. Another thing that was super impressive about this place was 
the amount of things they had to do for children. Okay, so they had their they had their own water park there. You know, they had the splash park there. They had the water park there for just for children, um, especially for smaller children. You go. They have a place where you can take your children, leave them, and they'll watch them. Right? They have activities to do. They they do drawings. They do they play in the pool. They they make balloon animals. Um, and these people are watching kids. I didn't personally leave my kids there unattended, but there are plenty of uh, families that did. Uh, I'm not a big proponent of that. Um, I stayed there with them. Um, they got PlayStations there, Xboxes, you know, the internet and all that stuff that, that kids can play on, which I thought was fantastic. On top of that, every restaurant you go to, they had a play place inside the restaurant. So if you go to the restaurant and you want to eat, so we went to a steakhouse and my kids don't really eat steak like that. You know, they're pizza nuggets and French fries. So they have the ability to go into the play place while people watch them. And I can see them through the glass. So every, no matter if it was the buffet, the, um, like I said, the, the Asian place, the, 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 um, the steak place, they all have places for your kids to play, which I think is clutch, right? And I, I, I thought restaurants in, in, in New Jersey should have that. Right, you know what I mean. So, so your kids can go off and play. You know they're safe. You know everything's fine. There's someone in there supervising, and they're not just running around uh, uh, by themselves. You can go off and eat. I thought was a great idea, and it's a great touch to the restaurant. I mean, the restaurant, the resort. Now, let's get to the negatives. I thought that there was much to be desired with the food. Um, when we first got there, the first thing we did was get some room service. You know, we got some um, barbecue chicken wings, some, some pizza, um, and I, I believe some French fries. Now, the food, there is a lot of wiggle room for you guys to get better at the food, right? Um, we also went down to, they have food trucks there, um, starting at four o'clock, I had got a uh, yeah, cheeseburger and French fries. Um, my kids got hot dogs. The the cheeseburgers taste like corned beef, which is I don't know. It's kind of odd, right? It, it tastes like corned beef. Uh, the French fries were okay. Um, the hot dogs. I don't know if they just make hot dogs different there. You know, I'm used to a certain type of hot dog. The hot dogs didn't taste as well. The buffet, um, while there's always enough menu items for you to eat and get by with, I would prefer that more stuff was tastier, right? So there, there wasn't a time where I went to the buffet and didn't enjoy something there, but I would prefer that I enjoyed, let's say, 80% of the things there versus 25% of the things there. So there's something you can find every time to eat that's delicious. But I think that's the place where they need work. Um, so you talk about the specialty restaurants. The first night we went there, we went to a, a um, Pan-Asian place because um, my, my my child, one of my children loves sushi. So we get sushi. She actually loved it. Um I had uh, some beef lo mein, which was was okay. It wasn't, if I had to rate it, I would give it a five and a half out of 10. My wife had some fried rice. Uh, we had some, um, some uh, shrimp sushi was stuffed with something. I'm, I can't remember, but nothing blew me away. The, um, the steak place, brass, Horrible experience. I couldn't get out of there fast enough. How about that? That was that was a horrible experience. The the bread was good, right? So I I, I ordered some soup, some corn chowder. It was awful. Um, my wife had ordered a beef empanada to start with. That was okay. Um, but then I got um, some some pork ribs. She got a um, I believe a. Some type of steak. I can't remember. I don't know if it was a strip steak. Um, she said hers was, was okay. Mine's was awful. Uh, I thought it was undercooked. Um, the presentation wasn't the greatest. We had cream spinach with it. 
and the cream spinach wasn't good. I couldn't get out of there fast enough. I had to run over to the buffet afterwards. So I think the one thing they could clean up there is the food. Um, if I had to rate the food out of 10, I would probably give them a four out of 10. Um, luckily for them, everything else was at such a high level that the food I could stomach. Um, but if I had a knock on the rest, I mean, on the uh, resort, it would be the food. Now, that was pretty much um, our trip. We, we took, uh, we did other things other than the trip, the nightlife there. They, they had clubs there. We didn't go to because we have uh, small children. Um, they have a show every night. Um, they had a circus show. They had a retro show. They had... Um, um, there's some type, there's some type of singing going on every night. That's for sure. On top of the, the shows they have, um, we attended the circus show. It was pretty good. Um, they had balloon animals and they had jugglers and they had, you know, Cirque du Soleil type, um, things going on. There was a wedding that happened one of the days there. So I thought the entertainment was, was pretty good. Um, the singing was always pretty good. Um, all in all, I, I, I rated this place very, very high. Um, I'm going to move on to it right now. I'm going to show you how I rated it. I rated it in 10 categories, um, 1 to 10, and I'm going to add up the score to give them a score out of 100. Um, so I'm going to go to that right now. But I hope this 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 review was helpful to, put, uh, helpful to you. Um, the place that I went to was the finest um, in Punta Cana. It's, it's, it's only been operating for a year. Um, the finest in Punta Cana. I'm going to link the um, the hotel in the uh, description there. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you get a chance to get out there to it. Um, if you don't, I hope you get a chance to go somewhere. It was a great time for me and my family. It was, like I said, our 10-year anniversary. Um, it was a great trip. I wouldn't hesitate to go back for sure. It was the best place I've ever stayed at in the Dominican Republic. And like I said, I wouldn't hesitate to go back. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope you stuck around to the end to find out which hotel it was. You guys be safe. Deuces.